because I also was pursuing my athletics for a period of time after my undergrad. I was out of school for almost 10 years. So figuring out how to study, what is Quizlet? What is, you know, all these different resources that students have been using was definitely a learning curve, but it is a part of the journey and it's been great having that athletic background, being able to say that, you know, as a student athlete, I was a student first and an athlete second and taking those same principles of if you don't show up for practice that day, you're not going to get better. It's the same thing with my technique. If I'm not practicing, if I'm not going to getting as many people as possible to figure out what I'm hallucinating under my fingers, you know, I, it, it's just not going to get better. So I've definitely taken all of kind of the core things that make make me and made me a great athlete to get to those different stages of my life. And I've applied that to my education. And it's, it's definitely been, um, it's been tough. Um, as we've kind of transitioned to that online training um, and for, I would say, the seventh, eighth and ninth quarter where we were a hybrid program of being online and being in person. And we'd have to, you know, basically practice with inanimate objects because we, we just have those, you know, direct hands on training, you know, using resistant bands and, and kettlebells and pillows and stuffed animals and things like that.